you I pray. In the morning, O oh Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning, I will order my prayer to you and eagerly watch. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, for no evil dwells with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all who do iniquity. You destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the man of bloodshed and deceit. But as for me, by your abundant loving kindness, I will enter your house at your holy temple I will bow down in reverence for you. This morning, as actually as the worship planning team was praying and preparing for our time together, um, some of us uh, felt that we needed some time to just sit and pray together. And um, even as last night I heard some troubling news that grieved my heart about the shooting, um, that happened. So I thought maybe we should just sit together to, to sit before God and pray this morning. So as we, so we're going to spend a little time praying before we begin the day. But I want to introduce uh, to you um, a song um, from Brazil. It's a song um, by a young man, composer, Rodolfo Gaia de Neto, who um, it says, uh, for the troubles and suffering of the world. God, we call upon your mercy, the whole creation's laboring in pain. Lend an ear to the rising cry for help from oppressed and hopeless people. Come, hasten your salvation, healing and love. We pray for peace the blessed peace that comes from making justice to cover and embrace us. Have mercy, Lord. And we pray for power, the power that will sustain your people's witness until your kingdom come. Kyrie eleison. This song is... Um, of course, originally in Portuguese. So I will sing it in Portuguese, even though I'm not a Portuguese speaker. So if there are any native speakers out there, forgive, I ask for forgiveness already, but I will sing it. Um, I think I asked, um, I think it, the words can be projected. Is that, is that true, Larry? The words are there? Okay. Um, so if you are a Portuguese speaker, then please feel free to sing along. Um, and then we will sing it again in English. And then definitely join us. Pelas <laughs> dores
over the troubles and sufferings. You know, when I was in seminary, um, well, I learned that Kyrie eleison is a Greek, uh, an ancient Greek prayer that says, Lord, have mercy. Well, um, when I was in seminary, I saw a very interesting translation or an interpretation, which is that, Lord, uh, have mercy, but also, Lord, draw compassion from us. Draw compassion from us. That's a different way of thinking about Kyrie eleison. Um, and I, um, I want to share a little personal testimony, if uh, you will permit me. Um, in my 20s, young and idealistic, and I thought I'd go and save a village. Um, so in between schools, I w went on a volunteer teaching project to Uganda. And I started uh, a music program at a seminary, a Bible college that trains um, pastors there. And so, and um, it was a life transforming experience. So from since 97, I've been going back to teach there as a guest lecturer every year up to now. And um, one year, I think it was in the early days, some, sometime in my second or third year or so, we were preparing for uh, like a graduation recital or a concert or performance. And um, it was a really uh, rough time. I had just had malaria, so I, I, I had to miss teaching for two weeks. And um, so I felt kind of, un my students were unprepared. And then I find out um, two of my students, um, we had a class of uh, maybe 18 or so. And two of my students had been chased away because they couldn't pay their school fees, which is a very common um, occurrence there. And then um, several were down with malaria, and um, two of them had a death in the family, so they were gone. So I had like maybe less than half of my students left. It was the remnants, okay? And some of my best performers were gone, and I was just like, ah, p uh, driving myself crazy. And during the rehearsal, it was frustrating and we just had to come to a stop and one of our uh, Ugandan staff, a very wise lady said, let's stop because we were like all like tearing our hair out and about to cry, okay. Um, said, let's stop, let's pray. So we all uh, went into the chapel and um, as is the customary, everybody just kind of went off into their own corners and I was sprawled down in the very back of the chapel on the floor. 
And um, I was really broken because I was, I was thinking, God, why, why am I here? What, what, why did you send me here? I can't do any good. I have no control over the troubles that my students are having. What can I do if they don't have money for school? What can I do if they, they, they're sick with malaria or their loved ones are dying? I can, there's nothing I can do to help them. So I just, I broke down. I was just on the floor bawling and just like that, that was a prayer. That was a lament prayer, just like the psalmist. You know, the psalms are very emotionally honest. And that's the thing that I really love about the psalms. And slowly but surely, a message came to my heart. You know, that's exactly why I sent you here. I want you to know just a little bit of my own heart for my people. Oh, that's what I want you to know. I want you to know what I feel. The pain that's in my heart when my children suffer. And so the lesson I carry with to this day, there are things going on in the world and God would like us to share that same heart and the same compassion. And this is where all of our activism begins, is in the heart of God. So this is the prayer that I invite, invite us to pray, is that, that we may share in God's compassion. And when we pray, Kyrie eleison, Lord, have mercy. Lord, give us the same compassion you have for your people. And let this be our prayer today. Amen. Amen. And so as I, I'm going to just noodle on the piano, and this is a time for us to lift up those things are, that are heavy on our hearts, those things that are on our minds. And I'm going to invite um, Jamie to... Um, Light the candles. There are some tea lights. Is that right? And you can speak it out, whatever is in your heart. I know the room is large, but God hears. <clears throat> in Korean, there's a, in Korean tradition, actually, there's a, there's a form of prayer called Pungsanggido, which is you just speak out and the spirit will hear whatever you'd like. Or silently in your hearts. God hears that as well. So I just, this is an open prayer time. We're going to pray like that for a few minutes. At the end of which, I want to uh, ask you to join once again and with the song for the troubles and suffering of this world. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy. Lord, draw compassion from us. All right, I want to invite us once again to stand as you're able as we begin the morning. We have an important and big day ahead of us. So let us begin the day standing nice and tall, taking a deep breath in, and letting it all out. Once again, deep breath in and letting it all out. Once again, deep breath in and out. I'm going to reach to the heavens, stretch up to one side, to the other side. Butterfly ourselves down, nice and light. Wonderful. Okay, let me see. Check. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Will. Okay, let's roll our shoulders. Let's do some big circles. Roll the other way. All right. Kind of shake ourselves out. Loose, loose. Shake all the tension out. Good. Let's take one more deep breath. 
and Beautiful, thank you. You can be seated if you'd like. I hope you had a chance to get outside of the hotel. You know, I, they put me on the eighth floor and um, as I walk back and forth from my room, I can see the bay and the waters glittering and I've been enjoying little snippets of moments of the glory of God through the sparkling of waters. So I hope that you get a chance to do a little bit of uh, walking. This is a beautiful spot, you know? You can see the bay, there's breezes. I don't know if you can hear birds, but I, you have heard birds, okay. So I hope you had a chance to walk. This morning, I wanna share a song with you called Cherokee Morning Song. The song comes from the Native American Cherokee people who originally inhabited what is now the Allegheny or the, and the Great Smoky Mountain area of the United States. Um, as you know, most of the Cherokee were forcibly removed from their lands and moved to Oklahoma in the 1830s in what has been known as the Trail of Tears. It is estimated that over 4,000 Cherokee lost their lives as a result of this abuse. Um, there was a small group of Cherokees who hid uh, in the Smoky Mountains uh, during this er time and escaped uh, removal. And after some time, they were actually able to reclaim a small portion of their lands so um, this is a beautiful song in the morning to remind ourselves. The song says, I am of the great spirit. I am of the great spirit. And it is so. Like, as in, the wh way we would say it is, wh whose are we? Remember who we are, whose we are, right? We are of the great creator. We are from the creator. The singer who's singing, myself, all of us sitting here, and everyone we will encounter today. And it is so, amen. amen. And so that's, that's what the song says, all righty? Um, you heard the, uh, the worship team actually sing it as you walked in this morning. So I'm gonna teach it to you, and there's no words on the PowerPoint. This is learned via the oral tradition. So I'm gonna invite you to just copy whatever you think you're hearing, okay? <laughs> it's okay, you don't have to be correct. There's no correctness involved in this endeavor, okay? You just have to be trusting and copy just like children learn, okay? Um, and you have to be dependent on each other, which, which I have learned from the oral tradition. Okay, from, from my African students, music students, whom I teach, this is what I learned, to be interdependent in learning music. And this is a practice, this is a spiritual practice, so I invite you to, to all give it a try, even though you don't have words in front of you, all right?